Greetings, my fellow Thebians. Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld False God, episode 99, Bunny Nukes. What's the antenna for? It's to, um, well, it's to allow for robots to be able to, like, transfer consciousnesses and connect to the interwebs. Inter You're going to go that way. Uh, so you guys want the integral warhead, plasteel, and armor. Copy that, 10-4, will do. Happy to, happy to oblige. So here's Shell Bell, the mortal's resting place, and the art. An engraving on this sarcophagus resembles Sabin standing next to Shell Bell's grave with a needy expression. A spectral image of Shell Bell looks over the scene with a quiet expression. Wait, a sp okay, yeah, the images are in front of a crab. The work represents the artist's compassion. This depicts, uh, this depiction relates to Sabin visiting the grave of Shell Bell, which happened like last year. It's weird art to have. All right, with the antenna connected, JFED, you connect and you upload, or rather you... Why am I... Bl oh, I need to connect you too. Um, let's take off that burka, because it's about to get ruined. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. And then the other poll. Uh, I, so I'll be accepting the bunny quest um, right now. I have 16 hours until they arrive, so it's a little bit of lag time. But uh, the other quest, uh, question was, who goes into the sculptor? So Firefly, two injuries. Uh, Maxi, one. Seabass 2. Marcos 1. And that would be it. There you go. Vote on that. And done. Hi, JFED, the new JFED. Wear that burka. And make sure that your work is inherited by your old body, so we're good. Yeah, we're good. You're not going anywhere that's going to get anyone killed. Bye, old JFED. To the scrap pile. Um... I think the bunnies are going to be a net benefit. So I have a question for you. Uh, you all, all, all obviously are going to vote for Firefly. So I'm going to um, I'm going to stick Firefly in there now. But the question I had was, should I start the reactor while the bunnies are here to kind of cover for me? Because the bunnies um, will eat humans that arrive, and I can use them to try to make the the reactor raids a wee bit easier, I guess. I'm a little nervous, if I'm being honest, about the reactor raids, because I have a melee-only colony with um, a pretty finite amount of ways to deal with dangerous attackers. But, um, yeah. 
happy to try it. It sounds kind of like fun. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think it does. So let's carry you to the bioregen. No, actually, you're going to a pleasure cycle. Uh, did Firefly go through one of these already? Guero, Aviator, Mike, Godfada, Sabin, Maxu. No. So she's going to get biotuned. Bonk. Okay, cool. And bros will be out in 16 hours. Should I start the reactor? Yes or no? Very quick poll. What do you guys think? Wait, Thomas, I just dyed your clothing. How are you wearing something new already? <laughs> You're quite the fashionista. Um, if we have a giant swarm of bloodthirsty bunnies coming, let me go ahead and close potential vulnerable um, ingresses points, like the front gate. And you guys say yes. God help me. Priority. Build. Okay, so the build ship reactor is done. Uh, build pyramid. Build a tomb. And survive the reactor raids. Fifteen days begins now. Are we going to die? I don't know. Do I have a barrel for a mortar? Uh, I do. I don't know. But um, that's a good question because uh, I wouldn't mind having some mortar help. I don't think I have a reinforced barrel anywhere. As you can see, I um, yeah, I don't I don't have one. After rambling a little bit, I realized, no, no, do not. It would be nice if I did. I can turn the Integrin Warhead into an IED, but it's very challenging to use that well. Because I don't think I need to explain that, but yeah. Very, very challenging to use an IED. Especially as tribal. So, Macho, those gates are closed. Um, these gates don't matter because the door can be open. It doesn't matter. Can I build pod launchers? Uh, I could build pod launchers. Yeah. The issue with pod launchers, however, hey, buddy, is um, sending a Antigrin warhead through a pod launcher doesn't make it explode on the other end. You could try to then uh, use the Amon Ra's um, Phoenix armor to set fire to it, but if he's close enough to set fire to it with a Phoenix armor, he's probably going to blow himself up. You could also try to berserk someone that has like fire pots, but then that's relying upon the enemies to bring fire pots to the fight to begin with. So like the IEDs are just extremely difficult to use without mortars. Not to say it's impossible, just very, very difficult. The, the probably the way to do it is... I think the problem is most of these raids are going to be... Um, um, they're going to be... Breacher raids, which is very hard to counter with uh, IEDs. The best thing I could do against them would be to set up like artificial walls like this and build the IED here and then make sure that the... Ammonites never go near that IED because it's not an allowed technology for them to see to begin with. 
Well, that's a lot of work. It'd be way better if I got some mortars. Mortar barrels. I've passed a lot, a lot of quests that offered mortar barrels. We just never voted on them. So there's been a lot of mortar barrel quests uh, offered in the past. But I never needed it until just now. Flash Storm is another option, but then again, it's just like praying that it hits. It's leaving a lot to chance. Hey, JFit, we have a lot of fabrics, right? Do you want to make like a baller rug? Cost 140, so I can make a baller plain leather. I can make two of them. Weird. It's a. Uh, it's a tailoring skill to use the bench, and then an art skill to produce. Oh god, that's so messy. Um. So all the other tailoring things, so I don't mess this up, are going to be set to 17 plus so that uh, JFed can't just be like, oh, now I'm going to make all the colonies clothing and um, make garbage. I could have a robot be a nuke carrier and sacrifice send the robots on a suicidal mission, like a tier one robot that we make just to like carry an anti-grain warhead. But I'm not... I keep saying this, and I've said this before. Oh, he is so cute right now. Look at this. He has his little paws off the side of the... Oh, well, I screwed that up. Um, so here's the bunnies. Carrying the ball over. Here they are. Squee! But I, I, did, I did continue to say that um, I'm not going to weaponize my robots, so that would be weaponizing my robots. I'm trying not to uh, make... The robots into weapons. Alright, something I want to do is to be able to steer these bunnies easily. So that should, probably shouldn't be steel. I'm low on steel. So the reason I'm doing this is so that I can sort of manipulate the bunnies to travel where I want them to travel. Hey bud, I gotta be careful where I pet. He's like covered in little scabs. Oh man. He's been a little trooper though. Pyramid's almost done. We have made virtually no progress on this thing. And I'm not actually even sure why. I have the constructors. Well, I have Seabass. I don't know what Seabass is doing. It might be that they're just busy sewing. Yeah, he's busy sewing the Drago farm. And there's no one else that can help because we banished Mike. And Mike still has steel waiting for us to be picked up. I don't think we're going to get there anytime soon. Moles! Hey, Moles! Thanks for the resub. Cheers. He was acquitted? He was acquitted, but we still sort of um, made him atone for his sins.
Understandably, I think. He did bash some one of us to death. Kind of requires... At least... A little bit of responsibility. Tangier, thanks for gifting out a sub. T-Man. Alright, bros. Coming out. God is waiting for you. To exit the pod. If I knew that you were going to spend a long hour, not a short hour, I would have showed up later. Because I'm getting hungry. And there's no pumpkins left for me to smash into my face. Like Billy Corgan style. Alright, you are... No, 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 not there. Not there. Nope, 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 nope. This is for slaves. And we're good. Make sure that that's not included in the lab, and it isn't. So Browse is all healed up. He still has this toxic buildup from the fallout that we had ages ago. That's funny. It wasn't so much acquitted as he was spared. Yeah, that's probably a better way of putting it. We were going to kill him, and then we we're like, ah, we won't kill him. We'll just put him to work in a, you know, in the mines. Well, I must say, the reactor has not thrown anything at me yet. It's been a full day, and it's just... By the time human raiders show up, these bunnies are going to be asleep or left. I guess it, it's still buying me time. I don't mind either way. But I'm just surprised they haven't come to squash me. It's funny that the bio sculptor didn't fix that toxic buildup. Yeah, you'd have to go through a medic cycle, not a bio sculpt cycle, for the um, toxic fallout to be fixed, I think. Hey, pineapple pizza for the resub as well. It's a resub day. Here we go. Attack immediately, multiple angles. Perfect. I don't have to do anything. We've got seven in the east, or west. Three in the east, northeast. Nine in the southwest. And these attackers only need valid targets. Oh no. Oh, why did you do that, Seabass? Oh, because the door was allowed? I am an idiot. Who's around? Guero. Rip, Guero. Seabass, you're going to have to stand and take it for a second. Good. Oh, God, that worked out. Oh, boy, did that work out. What a maneuver. See, bass. Well, they're just bunnies. They're not going to get through that door in a scary amount of time. Well, we're about to watch uh, a raid get absolutely shredded by um, by bunnies. So that will be amusing. Uh, so let's make sure that the zoning is correct. Almond round size shouldn't go down there. And regular size shouldn't go down there. Good. Surprise! Weaponized furry demons. Fuzzy demons. At my disposal. Death by a thousand nibbles. It was not a very big raid, no. Doesn't matter, though. Because I had a lot of bunnies. And... Yep. That happened. It was 87 rabbits. If we take a look at the human to rabbit casualty, 19 humans... And, hmm, I don't know how many rabbits died. It's hard to get a fair count. 21 humans. It's almost a one-to-one -one ratio of rabbits to humans because of how outnumbered they were. 
Obviously, some of these rabbits are bleeding to death, so that number will climb. But, uh, pretty good, pretty good. It's like an Alfred Hitchcock movie? Yes, Quoth the Raven. Nevermore. Chief bed, use battery. So you've been eating all my pumpkins, haven't you? you? Little pumpkin eater. That's a pejorative term for robots now. Let it let it be known. You want to insult a robot? Just call him a, a filthy pumpkin eater. <laughs> Sounds so wrong. Yet, yeah, you filthy pumpkin eater. I've been forbidding Macho from building the pyramid just so that we can get the wooden walls up. How much grass do I have? 60? Okay, yep, nice. Are the pumpkins filthy or are the eater? Both. healed. I do not want to see you walk out there again. I mean, it was actually relatively amusing, and I was just so happened that Goro was standing next to you and managed to also chaos skip you in the correct direction. Imagine if he was chaos skipped outside. The bunnies would be eating sea bass for dinner. You know, I just realized I don't know how this door closed, but Three bunnies are just stuck in the foyer. Hey, Seabass, you kind of caused this problem. You're going to be stuck to fix it. The bunnies, even though Maxi was front and center, knew that Seabass was the tasty one and went after him. Alright, so we are good now for Inside Forbidden to include this, and for Almond Round Side to include this. Good. I really want the next raid to show up. So the way the reactor raids work. Uh, I'm not on losing as fun as I normally am because this is not a series about combat, but the way it normally works is it just constantly sends your raids. And it's weird that um, I haven't had a follow-up raid already because I feel like I'm overdue. We do have travelers. Yep. Uh, well, we had travelers. I'm just gonna just gonna call it that they're probably already gonna die. Oh god, they came to the front door too. Yep. Bye, Porcupine. And Camissa. Honestly, these travelers did so much better than those raiders. It's a 2 to, um, like, 11 ratio. What were your traits? Nimble, bloodlust, high melee. Okay, yeah, I see why. And then you jogger. Okay, yep. That makes sense. Luckily, they can't leave a negative Yelp review. They can only Yelp. Well, they were Yelping and now not any longer. Okay, I uh, caught you doing something. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is my fault. Uh, delete this there. Do I still have an animal pulsar? I do not have animal pulsars. I could try to call a shaman in to try to get one. 
That was close. That was really close. Is visitors are turned off? They are... Yes. A lot of new guests are off. And Macho is trying to do the same thing. What they're trying to do... I'm sure most of you understand this mechanic, but they're allowed to go here, but the only way to get here is to go out the front door and walk all the way around. So that's what they're doing. But if I remove this wall, they won't walk out the front door. So I'm removing the wall so that they stop trying to just face plant into their deaths. It also allows us to reset a fire trap, which is very, very useful, given that we're in reactor raid territory. Reactor raids. I guess I'll keep myself red for the reactor raids. I'll even update the title of the stream. Reactor raids. I wish I had an animal pulser. Michelle Bell does not care about the safety or security of my allies. Ally now neutral. Wow. I requested a trade caravan so hard that they're like, you know what? Screw them. Screw those guys. Allow the pyramid? I will in a moment. I'd rather get the fire trap uh, repaired, though. Oh, Zebra. I don't think you want to be out there. Fireflies out in two days. Macho, watching you work... Oh, wow, that was easy. He was working very slowly. I'm trying to replace the wood floors so that I can use both sides of the fire trap. Not just the armed side. It does have enough wood back here that it should be okay. But, like, it would be much more ideal if both were, were good. So much blood around the uh, the rabbits. Yeah. They were bleeding to death from the raid that did show up. Oh, some of the bunnies came all the way up here to come greet me. A greet, meet, and eat. If only they could defeat. I think that's all the removing of the floors I need to do. They're all freaking out except for this one who's just like, you know, I'm kind of done with this. I'm not being paid enough for this. I'm leaving. Yes, Seabass, that's what I wanted you to do. Build one floor panel and go to sleep. Ah, <laughs> oh, I've been trolled. Rare thrombos! Oh boy. Yes, I need more thrombo leather. Gonna be challenging to go out there safely. But they should stick around for a day or two. So as soon as there's a breathing room, I'll poke my head out and get them to fight one another. In fact, all right, this is a bit risk, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to try to berserk a thrumbo to smash the remaining um, bunnies. Oh, never mind. The thrumbo walked right past the entry door. Sorry about the slow progress on this tomb. My dudes just don't want to smooth those those floors. I mean, it is technically a tomb. We have one person entombed in it, but I only technically. And it's pretty dull because we're not doing anything about it. Although this is getting built. 
I find it particularly funny that Lady Shell got a go frenzy, given that Lady Shell never leaves the like 200 square foot, well, it's more than 200 square foot, but the 1,000 square foot lab. How's the rug coming along? Hey, it's done. One of them is. I'm going to get rid of the poor one. I wonder what happens if you overlap. Well, I won't know now. Not the anima grass. Dude. Dude. I don't know. <laughs> Seriously? Stupid pyromaniacs. Quit burning my grass. You know how long it took for me to meditate on that? Oh, here we go. Sappers. From the northwest. Uh, Mr. Johns, I am going to need you to go escort Plex and make sure Plex behaves. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, hang on. All yo, go here. I have to open up the path. These sappers look like they're going south, actually, so let me audible that already. No, don't go in that room. There we go. That's a no-go zone. No going in there accidentally. Rose! Uh, right, right, right. You don't have a weapon. Here, you can have the Warhammer. Mr. Jones. Allow you to deconstruct this. Yeah, Plex is still lighting stuff on... Oh, God, is she ever... I wanted, uh... Oh, right, I sent Mr. Johns over here. Um, hmm. Well, rip grass. It doesn't really matter, we're not using the grass. So, sea bass, go beat the fire out. And Kynan, go beat the fire out. What a jerk. Oh, it's Trebo. You're out of the foggy swamp, aren't you? Rose, you got your weapon? Cool. Right. Weapons, they, they're all melee. Yeah, except for one bowman. Not bad. Splat. Where the mad bunnies when you need them? I mean, I still have mad bunnies. They're just at the wrong entryway. And they're, like, asleep. So, not all that useful. I like how they're regrouping. They're like, oh god, they killed Trevo. What are we gonna do now? Uh, let's huddle. Let's discuss. Beheaded the beaver. Firefly being in the pod kind of sucks. Because uh, Firefly is a really powerful sidecaster. So, kind of unfortunate she's um, out of this fight. Ouch. Aviator getting shot to the jaw. Almost took his whole jaw off. I do hear bunnies coming. In fact, I think one just joined the fight, if I'm not mistaken. Out.
This is not a, a particularly large raid. Don't set. So, shouldn't be that hard. La cucaracha. Bye-bye. And they're gone. No, don't, don't throw, oh, uh, oh my god, almost hit me. Alright, note to self, do not bring Delirious to these fights. <laughs> Unless I want it fire thrown in my face. Alright, that's remedied. Up here is still a bit of a eh, flaming inferno. Thanks to Plex. I hope you feel better, Plex. Oh, right! Because, you know, that was a pyromaniac mental break. It wasn't a real mental break. You don't even get catharsis. You're, you're just a jerk with no benefit. I gave up on named Delirious uh, fire grenades. I know. It was, a, it was a bad idea. He sees enemies where enemies do not exist. Oh, look at this. This is, uh, this is all rearmed. Completely. Completely rearmed. Good. We have very, very few injuries. Nothing that can't be quickly tended to. Um, oh, no. That would be a negatory. Get out of there. Poor aviator is like, you keep moving me around. Just leave me alone. I'm like, nope. Make you march with your broken jaw. So number says, yeah, there's still about 20 hairs out there still that want to do me harm. But given that I am not expecting more manhunters, I'm going to get rid of the uh, door blockers so that I have freedom of movement. You're not set to bed rest, yet you're bed resting. Got nothing better to do, I guess. I don't really care about repairing the walls so much as I care about closing these doors so that the trap is ready. Once the bunnies are done with their little bunny march, I can open the fire trap and any non-sapper, non-breacher um, can be easily burned by Delirious and Delirious's fire pots. So it's, it's quite a benefit that Delirious is here for 16 more days and the reactor is going on for 11 more days because it allows me to use easy fire as a means to control the mob. Kind of nice. Let's hope that infestations don't happen with the power off, because I can't stop them at the moment. Is your crafting skill going up with the rug making? Uh, no. Your art is. It's an art skill that requires crafting to be allowed. Yeah. I don't know. I understand it as well as you do.
So we lost nine grass. It's grass I was never going to use unless we lose someone and need to, uh... What the heck? Oh, the bunnies are dead. Which means the nukes are here. Uh, don't wear that. The recon armor should be stored here, not there. We don't want it hauled out of the lab. Pyramid is so close. It's so very close. And the solar flare has ended. Very eager to see the temperature drop in the tunnels. I would not want to deal with an infestation right now. Especially not an infestation in part of the base that um, has forbidden technology in it. Because that would not be good. It sounds fun. Yeah, only to you. I, I wouldn't mind it. I mean, we, we had to do it last week. If I had to do it back to back, I'd, I'd be a little salty, but it would be kind of fun. The question is, can I pick up the pyramid and move it one block to the right? Probably. I don't see that it would be any different than the um, the Sphinx. I'd imagine they saw, follow the, roughly the same rules. So my guess is, yes, I'd be able to do that, as odd as that sounds. A heat way. <laughs> All right. Fine then. England would like that ability. Maybe not in modern times, but in the 1800s, if England could just pick up pyramids, uh, the Great Pyramids of Giza would be in Giza, UK. <laughs> Obviously. They're starting nowadays to give some things back, but not what should be given back. Not all of it. Thank you, fellow Ammonites, for tuning in to RimWorld False God, which originally streamed live on Twitch, September 11th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below, but please keep in mind that the series has since ended. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. It also has a link to Discord if you're interested in joining the gaming community, and that link can also be found in the description of the video. Thank you so very much for watching. I'll catch you next episode or an upcoming stream or series. Adios, my fellow Ammonites.